Assalamualaikum and good day to my lecturer Dr. Nazmu Saadat And I am Bahadur Amin bin Hayro Origin 5221311279 We'll be going to explain on how to implement OpenCV with Python 3 to do facial recognition and identification through GUI application So for any information in my video actually is one to recognizing my face and detect their identification through open webcam since OpenCV is so powerful and it's actually really easy to implement so like I'm not actually gonna have to do a lot of work Before I go through in deep, there are some understanding on how to actually get it set up and OpenCV And once I do, it's gonna be very useful and easy to be going recognize my face Actually in my video, I want to show and identifying face is work like as we can see there are be green bounding box around my face uh, my name and if the camera is detect my face it could be print identified along with my name and if not will be print and identified as we can see that with identification also print my profession which is student and if the face is could be defined the commission will state and unknown later i will show the more details about the activation on the end of my video after i finish explain all the codes so stay tuned so let's just get start uh, introduction first so computer vision is a process to give the ability to the computer to see a human if the part of the computer science which is focused on replicating and intricate parts of the human visual system it helps to identify and process the objects in image through the computer the whole idea for the computer vision is to make automatic replica of the human eye which is more efficient than human eyes for this face recognizer project is I create to recognition and identification who is the face who is that face actually this project is look like photo taking when you take a photo of your friends the face detection rhythm will into your digital camera detect by the face and adjust the focus accordingly but here I have a little different where I'm left the camera and uh, I'm left the camera and detect the face and identify what is my name this project is pulled by capturing an image and saved into a database and train the model where it convert the image into great scale in order to get a pixel of image and get into the three bytes of the image and sort into numpy array and save in uh, save in into a SMML file while training the neural network the, ne the network learns the output two similar vectors of the face that look similar for example if I have, I have multiple image of face with different time span of course some of the features of my face might change but not up to much as time now after training the networks uh, the network learns to output vector that are closer to each other similar for face so this uh, this so now i know how this network works so without wasting time let uh, i see how i use this network on my own data with my family members so to identify our face so let me go through to the installing package firstly we need to check whether my python 3 is installed or not along with the pip where is 10 for pip install package or pip install python uh, pip stand for prefer installer program uh, but in this case i have already installed both of them so let me show you here i check the version of python 3 to the command prompt so by type uh, python uh, dash dash version here we go then i check the python uh, the check the pip uh, dash dash version so here the pip is have been located pip is important where actually this is the package manager of, for python that means it's a tool that allows uh, i to install and manage additional libraries and dependency that is not distributed as part of the standard library whenever we want to install another package like opencv numpy tensorflow uh, pillow or something else we can use common pip install what so for example i want to install uh, opencv just uh, type pip install opencv or another name that i can be installed so let me explain for the first package that i have been used in the face recognizer project as we all know that user library that could make my project successful is OpenCV library where used for all sort of image and video analysis like facial recognition and 
detection uh, license plate detection and object detection and others actually open cv python is library of python bindings is designed to solve computer vision problems so all the open cv array structure are convert to and from numpy array here is how i create face recognition project so just open the command prompt and pip install open cv dash uh, python so just like that to install the open cv python So the next package is NumPy library. It's a provide a large number of fetch function that operate on NumPy array, and are useful for different types of scientific and engineering application. So based on the package that has been implemented into the face classifier py where is to store image in NumPy format and IDs of the user on the same index in M image np and id list. Meaning here, I'm using this library to make sure every pixel value of image, then will be converted into to number we sort in numpy array uh, using import pill after i have find the image into i have turned the image into grayscale then from a grayscale into a numpy array after that i get the list of number that i will use the list of number of image to start training that is how importing numpy as np in order to get the print statement of binary number of image pixel where I have been sorted into an array of each image and then stored into XML file along with IDs uh, of the user. The next uh, package is Pillow, which is Python Imaging Library, stand for PIL, which adds support for opening, manipulating, and safe image. Pillow is free and open source library for the Python programming language that allows I to easily create and manipulate digital image. This library is important to import the image capture into grayscale which means much easier for computer vision to read. Notice that uh, the first dimension is the height and the second dimension is width. So this is because the data is ordered by line, then each line is ordered by pixel. And finally, each pixel contains 3 bytes value of RGB. I implement this library in face classifier py which is to import the image capture in order to convert and print statement of binary number of image pixel and save as XML file. So the next uh, package is uh, tkinter is the Python interface to the GUI toolkit ship with Python. Tkinter is standard GUI library for Python. Python when combined with tkinter provide a fast and easy way to create GUI application. Tkinter provide a powerful object oriented interface to the TK GUI toolkit. Creating a GUI application using Tkinter is an easy task for me. By import the Tkinter module and create a GUI application, main windows will make uh, NGUI interface could be appear. Meaning here, that is because all of the Python file and each of the Python file have a f uh, such a face dataset, uh, face classifier and face recognition is import from application by return their function header or, or dev function name short by define that have been stated on each Python file. This tkinter also import font where it is to define and display a new font in this application. And also tkinter is using to import message box to appear for giving an instruction and error for the spirit task when the user done uh, when user doing in the face recognizer pro meaning here after i create all three main python file then i import all of keyword i have declared of dev is a short for define all the code i have been put between the dev function name of parameter and end will be executed every time that i call the function name later so at this point uh, i call the function name then i declare it in each of three Python files, which is face dataset, face classifier, in face recognition .py, then I calling back into the GUI application Python file. This is to make sure when I click the button while running GUI application, it allow me to access the codes from another by importing the file or function using the way that I mentioned before. So let's go through to the first Python file, which is face dataset py which is the code that i create to capture my face and save as image.jpg then i save in database directory along with my name 
This goes is to make sure that I open a webcam later that could detect my face according to the image capture that I have been stored in the database. So let's get through on how I create this code. Firstly, I import CV2 and OS where each of it have their function that I have been explained before. After that, I create dev function name which is dev start underscore capture where I will be used importing all this code in this Python file into GUI application.py. Next is to create path include database plus name which is to set the directory of the location of image into the folder in database folder rename as name of the user that have been entered. So next is to create the try accept statement when the user using same folder name which means if the user enter of input similar name with other user so directory location can be create and print the directory already create. So that is because to prevent from the database contains the similar folder name and then face recognizer could not identify the names of the folder itself. So the next line is I create the video plus cv2 dot video capture. This will return video from the first webcam on my computer. On this elimination tutorial video, I will use that uh, as you can see that I'm using zero which means I want to open my first webcam in my system by using one they will be open my additional webcam in my system so the next line is I define a loop statement which start define while true this could initiate an infinite loop to be broken later by break statement at the end of the codes where I have read which is written and frame being defined as the v dot read. Basically, read is boolean regarding where or not there was a written at all. All the frame is each frame that is written. If there is no frame, I wanna get an error, uh, and and uh, you will get none. So gray equal cv two dot cv t color uh, frame dot cv two color bgr two gray. Here I define new variable gray as the frame convert to gray. So notice that it says BGR to gray. This is important notice that OpenCV reads color BGR which stand for blue, green, red. Where most computer application read as RGB, uh, read green, blue. Remember this. After that, I create for a statement which is to draw a rectangle or calling as bounding box to detect my face. First of all, of you can see I define XYWH which is mean X for width and Y for height along with the position. Then also print the text if the camera could be able to detect the human face. So it will be print face detected along with the position which is above above the bounding box. Font color and CV2.line underscore AA will give anti alias line which look great for curve. Therefore, put text method is important to use in order to draw a text string on any image. Then also using put text method to define number of image capture along the text image capture will be print uh, in above of the on the box. After success capture more than 310 image of face, the image will be saved in the database along the name of user. So the next line is cv2. I'm show face detection, uh, comma frame. Notice that I'm despite being a video stream, I will use I'm show here. I showing to convert the live stream feed. I wish to rename the windows title with the face detection when I run when I run the codes later. So try a set statement. I uh, will use to cv2. I'm write path plus number of image plus name plus jpeg uh, jpg. And this is uh, to state CV, CV2 I'm right method is used to save an image to any storage device. This will save uh, the image according to the specific format in the current working directory. Meaning here, if the camera could not capture 310 of image, image the image capture will be not saved. So this is how much important for the path plus number of image and plus name plus dot format image which is jpg so and if the try statement if pass the amrat method the statement just run once per frame basically if i get a key and that key is a queue 
I will easy the while loop with a break that I have been uh, state and above. So let's say if the number of image is not enough, so the the train model cannot be captured, and also uh, the image cannot be defined, uh, and the frame will be closed automatically. So this release the for the line cap release uh, and CV two dot destroy all windows, all windows is to line to the to write to release the webcam then close all the I'm show windows mainly to note here is the code being used and the output information defined above uh, be before the while loop so then within the while loop I use outright to output the frame finally outside the while loop after I release my webcam I will also close all the I'm show window so here is how my face that set is the py is have been created in order to capture all the image of the user through GUI application in in 310 image capture and save into the database directory along with my name so in order to the next python file which is face classifier will open the num face that uh, database directory and get the in number of image image capture and to train the model into a xml file so without further ado i will go to the next explanation for the face classes fire.py okay the next python file that i have been created is a face classifier which is a python file that i want to create in order to create a, a xml file from the train the model of the image capture in 300 of the image so the first is I import numpy and snp and then from pill import image and then import os comma cb2 there are three package which number one is import numpy snp in order to sort the value of each pixel of image capture into numpy array so that the statement can be trained and print into xml file Second from pill import image is to define the image capture and convert it into grayscale So then the image can be read to print the pixel value of each image for sorting into numpy array later Third is import os is to define the path location of directory base of database data directory And the last import is seven import cv2 is to define the lbph face recognizer to train the database the output classifier plus name dot xml file that i be using for the face recognition actually i should have classifier plus name dot xml file inside the database directory in the working directory so that as usual i was i must create the dev train classifier name which is to enable to importing the GUI application letter, this the function name or parameter is very important in order to be will be executed every time that I call the function name letter. So the next part is a uh, path equal os dot path dot join. This is to write and read all the path relative part where I where my sample is stored, which is uh, my image capture. By state path equal os dot path.join means that I open the database and found the database directory and find the name of the user. Make you sure the selected name is exists in the database directory in order to training the image into XML file. The next part uh, is want to give a few explanation in deep how the classifier is actually works. So as an information in this Python file the main function is to enable code takes a data set as input and learns from the data. The algorithm go through the data and identify the pattern in the data. For instance, suppose I wish to identify whose face is present in the given image. There are multiple things that I can look as a pattern. Number one is height and width of the face. Number two, height and width may not be reliable since the image could be rescaled to a smaller face. However, even after rescaling, what remains unchanged are the ratio. So the ratio of height of the face to the width of the face will not be changed. So number three is a color of the face. And number four is width of the other parts of the face like lips, nose and others. Clearly, this there is the pattern here. Different face have different dimension like the ones above. Similar face have similar dimension. 
The challenging part is to convert a particular phase into number where it's because machine learning algorithm only understand number. In this course, that is how actually I want to program. Meaning here, I take a data set plus name of user and convert into XML file. So later on the next Python file, the code the code will recognize the face and print the name based on XML file that have been convert. So there are three declaration uh, that I have declared for the the three multiple string that program can look as pattern from the three hundred and ten of image capture of user. Number one is face, IDs and picture. So the four root dir directory files in OS dot work. Uh, path is I'm using for statement state that path is above picture equal to 5. That is to root the image in database directory by define method or as well to generate the file name in the directory by working the tree at the top down or bottom up. Meaning here this line is enabled for me to get all the image dot jpg in a database directory. At this point the label of this image is very important where if the label of image is not exist means that the method or s dot walk will not enable to find the image in the directory. So the next line is image path equal path plus p. So the line image path convert l is mean that I want to convert all the image into l or gray scale. So the next is uh, image np equal np dot array. So here is how uh, import np as np is work. When when uh, when is when we convert into a numpy array by importing numpy as np like have been mentioned before. So this line will enable to bring this pill image with using ui nta. Notice that the first dimension is the height and the second dimension is the width. That is because the data is ordered by line. Then each line is ordered by pixel. And finally, each pixel contains three byte value of RGB, which is red, green, blue. Each color is present by unsigned byte. Based on that, after the module functions to load the image from the files and to create new image, they will read by each pixel value and saving as sort of numpy array. Meaning here, every image has pixel value that will be converted into number we sort in numpy array using import pill that I also have been import before. After I have turned the image into grayscale, then from a grayscale into numpy array, after that I get the list of number that I will use in the list of number of each image to start a training. So the next is three lines I create to import CV from the face dataset which is to add an ID of the user based on their name according to their image capture. After that, append image np to add a single item to the existing list meaning here the face of user does not return a new list of item but will modify the original list by adding adding the item to the end of the list after executing the method append on the list the size of the increase by one after add every single value ids of the id user will be created here is how actually I create the directory with label of the user name and ID. So then IDs equal np dot array ID. I create IDs of the user on the same index in image np and ID list. So here the line is how to train and save the classifier. After I code all of them, next is to import CV2 for classification for classification in computer vision. This is to make sure that user face can both front face and side face. Actually, while while using the LBP combined with Instagram, we can represent the face image with simple data vector. That is how I create cv 2facelbp face recognizer to print the labels the pixel of an image by trees holding the neighborhood of each pixel and consider the result as a binary number. Another important property it is computationally simplicity which makes it possible to analyze image in challenging real time setting so uh, the next is clf train face com comma id which is get image and label path returning to array which is faces and ids 
So the last part is save the model into trainer classifier dot xml. That that is to print the statement of the binary number of image pixel. So we need to print where is want to want to save. So here we want to save in xml file along with my name or others name. So this training will return two array faces and IDs. Then it will write a number into XML file. For my project face organizer, the XML file will save into classifier directory along the name of user based on face and IDs of the user. That is how actually my face classifier is work to train the model face of user into XML file from converting each of image into grayscale. Then sort into numpy array in order to get the pixel value and also the cv2 dot lbph which is stand for the local binary pattern histogram to print the value of binary number according the pixel of image capture of user and returning the face and id in order to save the xml file along with their name. So here is how the face dot face underscore classifier dot py is words that I have been created in order to get all the image capture in from the database and along with the IDs and the faces and also with their name and create the new new XML file that have been convert from the grayscale and to the numpy array and get the binary number and save into XML file so here we go and then I will go to the next part which is uh, face recognition that I will explain how the face detection is checking the similarity with the picture in the image of the image capture in the database based on the trainer classifier. So that's all for the face classifier. Next, Python file is face recognition where is a detector to check the similarity of 310 face of user based on inserted name. The similarity is based on the classifier name, XML file, the train model before this. The similarity train face will provide the name that have been insert by user on GUI application. Uh, the next is def main app, which is like before I declare of the keyword, def is short of define. I define main app which enable for me to calling back on GUI application later. So, the next part is create the here casket. So first I write the face casket with the casket classifier to detect object in the video stream. Particularly I will use the function cv casket classifier load to load uh, xml classifier file. It can be either uh, a her casket or lbp classifier. So casket classifier detect multi scales to perform the detection in on the face uh, of the user as well. The next line is a uh, cap equals cv2 dot video capture uh, uh, zero. So first I create a video capture object which is helpful cap to capture video through webcam and then I may perform desired operation on the video. Zero is means I want to use a default camera in my system. So the next is while true. So red comma frame equal cap dot read so means the code initiate an efficient loop to be broken later by break statement so by break statement will be declared uh, after i declare all the codes where i have read written and the frame being defined as the video dot read basically read is a boolean regarding whether or not there was a written at all all the frame is each frame that is written if there is no frame i want to got an error and i will get none so the next line is detect face in the image which is the line is to define the face along to print the bounding box letter for cv2 cv.color input image uh, comma flat where flat determine the type of conversation for bgr gray conversion we use to the flat cv2.color.bgr2 gray there are more than uh, 150 color space conversation method available in for cv in this case, I will look into only BGR to grid. So then, detect multi scale image reject level. Uh, the detect multi scale contains three, uh, three which is image, uh, reject level and level width. So it's 
a object vector of rectangle where each rectangle contains the detected object. The rectangle may be partially outside the original image for so scale factor parameters specifying specifying how much the image size is reduced of each image scale. The face model have a fit size defined during training which is visible in the XML. So this means that, that the size of the face is detected in the image if present. However, by rescaling, rescaling the input image, I can resize a larger face to the smaller one, making the, the detectable by the algorithm. The smaller of image in the database, the much easier for the algorithm to detect the similarity of the image with the user in live cam and print the name of user. So how about gray? comma 1.3 comma 5 so now we all use to face cascade variable defined above which contain a pre-trained algorithm and apply it into the gray scale image for each face detail will draw a rectangle around the face for x comma y comma w comma h in face which is i create for a statement where to processing the image uh, to processing the face the face in image X is for width while Y is for height, uh, height where it is to rescale the bounding box of the user while live webcam. So ROI underscore gray equal gray is to define the mark detected and then to draw a rectangle around the face. So the next spikes is ID, confidence equal organizer and the next line is confidence uh, equal 10 minus by confidence in and prediction so here is to define the id which is id of user of each name and confidence level confidence level is to check the similarity face detection with the image in the database of the user meaning here if the confidence level is more than 100 percent it will unidentified while if the confidence level is below than 100 percent is print Identify. So here, the confidence level is important to check the similarity of the face detection to identify and check how much similarity with the 310 image capture in the database of the user. So then is declaration of prediction that is print the result is of user is a valid user or not valid user letter. So the next part is only if a statement. So I'm using if a statement to identify username and profession along with the confidence level. So first is to create if the prediction is positive means the face detection identification is identified. So next I I declaring identify plus name, which is name at the upper uh, upper of the boundary box. Second create a confidence format percent, which is uh uh the two to print the confidence level in format percent declare a font type which is font cv2 font harshi plain so this is type of the font that i will use next go to define the bounding box when it detect the face of user and then draw the predicted face name on the image and then is to draw the predicted profession of the user so if the user is identified it will detect student if not it will detect unknown or not occupied and draw the probability confidence level percentage along with the face so here is uh, this confidence level is inside the bounding box as well so the next is else so this is to declare if the camera is detect unidentified face so first is create uh, if the prediction is negative mean the face identification is unidentified so next, I will create name plus I identify. So meaning here, uh, if the person is unidentified, they will print identify. So second, create a confidence format percent. So this is uh, how the confidence level is print in a format in a format percent. So next, I will create a font type. So next is to define a bounding box, is to define of user, def uh, define predict face name on the image and predict the profession of user. So here we state the unknown and draw the probability confidence level percentage along with the face. So the next part is uh, to print the frame uh, will be shows uh, into uh, 
uh, in order to open the webcam so the title of the frame when it's launched the open camera is stated uh, live face recognition and if implement and then I implement an exit option and we want to stop the camera by placing a queue so here is the prediction uh, so meaning here when I print the when I pressing a queue so the frame it will be automatically closed then it will be print prediction so if prediction is zero meaning it's positive uh, the pre so image will read uh, the database which contain capture of image let's say if user is named Ali so here I'm right will define the location Ali folder and pick the and pick the image capture of the number 50 then open the picture of valid user so and then is to open and define the image after it defined both location of them which is image capture number 50 along with the valid user.png so valid user.png is an image so I'm just pick up the fifth uh, image capture number 50 of Ali and boom so he will be get in one result so this is a code I, I, I create is to paste image capture number 50 and the image of with the valid user.png at the specific location so next is uh, to define where uh, my result.png will be stored so then is to save the image result in the flow in the project folder by rename result.png so here like as usual i'm just uh, print the title of frame by validation check and so i uh, just pressing escape or q will be print uh, is it a windows and that's all so the last part is GUI application.py which is the main python file that I create in order to run this face recognizer project I'm using tkinter as a platform to run this project through graphical user interface GUI python when combined with tkinter provide a fast easy way to create GUI application tkinter provides a powerful object oriented interface to the tkgi toolkit here is import the tkinter module as tk font to declare a new font and tkinter import message box to import the message box uh, in order to instruct or error statement input by user and also tkinter import uh, star which stand for everything so let me uh, say that difference between from tkinter import uh, between import tkinter stk the difference between the statements come down the namespace namespace are mapping from names label giving to a variable function and others to the actual object which means every module class functions have their own namespace where names associate with them such as variables or life so firstly I declare names equals set which is to assign this variable into class of this python file as an information, I define the def function name such as main app from phrase recognition, train classifier from face classifier dot py, and start capture from face dataset dot py. This is to ensure all def function name can be import into GUI. So, for the first part, I just want to create a uh, how the frame is looks like, which means how the frame is will be stand what I want to create how the how the the main uh, main face is looks for example if you want to create a, a circle so we must to define how the looks a radius of circle like right so for the first for the first thing I just want to create a frame so for the first one I just need to import a names and global names so the next is just to uh, create a name list dot txt dot r which is to open the name list which means when the user open the apps so automatically the name list will be open but will uh, but we we do not see uh, the name list that the txt is open so the first is self title font which is what the what the main font that I will use in this new application so which is a uh, Helvetica size 16 and bold 
So the next is self title face recognizer which is uh, the title what the title of the the system face recognizer uh, at the at the menu at the frame title. So this is a uh, title of the frame. So the next is to create menu bar. Menu bar is a menu of in, if con, is consists of uh, about with the sub menu face recognizer and contributor. So the next is a create a GUI interface frame height and width. So this is uh, how the geometry of the size of the frame is looks. Uh, for example, for for me, I am using 510 multiple by 255. So uh, the next is I want to create four F in start page page one page two page three page four. So this is the main the main the main function that we want to create so meaning here for example after the user click uh, after the user click page 1 so where will be going to put page 2 or page 3 or page 4 uh, when we click a uh, specific button so this is a uh, house uh, that I create uh, for the first for the another page but just using state part uh, state start page for the page 1, page 1 for the page 2, page 2 for the page 3, page 3 for the page 4 and page 4 for the page 5 so actually it have a uh, 6 page for this uh, UI application so the next is to define to show a, rib, uh, a frame so this is how to define show frame so the save page name and save dot frame so page name and frame ticket rise so Next is to define a close writer for the name list .txt. So this is the, the the important part when the user is quit uh, or close the uh, win the U application. The name list .txt must be closed also. So if they're not closed, the name list will be open until until will be run uh, until non stop. So that's why we need to close uh, the name list .txt after the user quit the button. So here is to create a menu by attributes with contributor for information for contributors and information. So that's I have mentioned before. They, uh, I have been create a menu bar. A menu bar is include for the sub menu contributor information. For contributors is includes with the badro I mean with my student ID and my titles of the GUI application. So the message box uh, next sub menu face recognizer for the face recognizer which is a uh, version face recognizer version 1.0 made using for iPhone CV NumPy with ticket enter in Python 3 language so when the user click the sub menu will be appear message box uh, and stated uh, out of this so let's start by creating a main page for the start page this is an important Page, which is when the user run this uh, this program what is interface will be shown so this is start page so for the first I'm just uh, write the to write the render equal photo image in order to uh, import the home page uh, import the picture of the home page P so I just want to have uh, my a picture in my in this application so the image grid is row equal 0, column equal 1, row span equal 4 so this is uh, the position of the image so the next is I am just to write the text label of home page and the grid of the text so this is uh, where I want to place the text of the home page text so next is a button label 1 of the add user and the grid of button 1 so this is how uh, the button 1 is uh, declared have been created and with what position this has been want to place so this is a row one so for the button two is identify user i just want to create at the row two so for the next button is button quick yes i want to create in the row three so here is how the start page will be going like uh, we will look so just only have a uh, four which is picture uh home page button uh a home page text at a user button, a define user button, and the quit use quit button. So here I'm just to define a message box when the user click a quit button, 
as usual we just want to uh, just want to ensure that after we click the quick button the namelist.txt must be closed so here I was I just and I just have an information how actually that I using a lambda for this uh, in this in this new application so here the reason why I am using the lambda so for the information I am using lambda function where it is a single line function declare with no name which can have any numbers of arguments but it can only have one expression I use lambda function when I require a nameless function for a short period of time here I am using lambda to open another page after user click the specific button so this is how the lambda is function in this uh, in this uh, area so uh, as you notice that I am always using self for the self controller self, self parent so why I am using self so this is a re this a reason which is self where is to represent the instance of the class with this keyword. I can access the attributes and method the class in Python. Actually, it binds the attribute with the given arguments. So actually, is how that I'm using self and why I'm using lambda. So I just want to explain how to create a second page for the page one. Meaning here after the start page, we'll be going to the page one. So here I'm just create a label of enter your name, which is on the uh, page second page. So this is uh, the grid of the position of the text. Next is entry box of username with the grid of box. So this is uh, uh, the box to for the user to enter their name. So the next is button cancel and next button with the grid of the but both button. So this is a uh, buff button cancel so this is a button next so this is a lambda so uh, if you if you if you use a click button cancel will we go to the start page so uh, next is a position of the button cancel and button next so next is to define if statement when user enter none same names and empty so this is when the user enter none in the box will be appear show error message and name cannot be not so if the user enter the same names the user uh, the message box will be appear stated user already exists so the next if the user let the uh, box is empty so the error message box will be appear and stated the name cannot be empty so as you notice that I'm using self controller equal controller at each of the page so why the reason is to set the to where is to set to that object it can refer to any object I want in this example I said using this application was the simplest so I can press whatever I want the parameter for controller so here the case. so that is the reason I'm using self controller so the next part is just going to uh, explain how to create how to create a class page two. So this is the uh, a third page after the page two. So this is a text label of choose your name and grid of text. So this is choose your name, and then the beside beside of that is a drop down button with the name list. So this will open the name list. So there is the names that have been set at the above of the uh, in this code so next is as usual declaration properties of the next button and declaration of the cancel button with the position of the button so next is define the message box when they're not choosing a name so let's say the user is not choosing a name so the error message box will be will be appear name cannot be none and if if user choose their name the controller show frame will be go to the page 4 so as you notice again, I'm using dev under, underscore in its self controller, where its self represent to the current object. This is a common first parameter for any method of a class. As you as you suggest, it's similar to Java. To Java, this parent parent represent a widget to to act 
as the parent of the current object all widget integrator except the root windows require a parent so here how why i'm using def uh, on each class so the next is to create the page tree after the user uh, put their name so they will go to the page tree so number of image capture buttons uh, a text will be going uh, represent and next the capture data set button and train the model button so here is position for each button and this is I define where I define the message box when the click when user click a capture button so as you can see I'm I'm create a message box info when user click the capture data set the instruction will be going will capture 300 pick of your face and please look the camera and wait so as you can see this is a start capture start captures have been set in the the face data set so here so that's at, this is when i calling back uh, face data set I start capture uh, dev name into this uh, dev message when they click a capture button so next is a dev trend model so when the user click the message uh, click the train the model so message box will be going says error no that no enough data capture at least 300 image so this is when the user not have capture the image in about 300 image so if the user uh, capture the image uh, more than 300 of image the message box success will be appear the model have been successful trained so here this is the train classifier that I have stated before that have been uh, import so I, it will be going to face classifier.py so here is the dev train classifier that I be import into the GUI application so the last part is to create a page 4 which is the fifth page for the page, page 4 meaning here we create the page 4 in order to create the uh, last page which is the text labels of face recognition grid of text and face recognition buttons of face recognition and grid of the face recognition button so this is face recognition button and this is position of the face recognition button and then is a but button to go back to home page so this is a button for go to home page and uh, this uh, position row 1 and column 1 which is uh, beside the face recognition button and I'm using a lambda so when the user click the go to home page button will go to the start page so here I'm define the open webcam so when user click the uh, face recognition button uh, the, the open camera will be open so here this is a main underscore app that have been set in the face recognition.py and I'm calling back into the geo application so this is the uh, import icon.co so which means uh, I'm just import the image of the icon to place in the frame in the title frame so that's all for the GUI application that I've been created so this is the last uh, python file that i want to explain so next will be the output so uh, for the animation this is a gui application.py this is uh, the main uh, python application python's dot python's python file that i want to run so this is how it looks like the all the coding for gui application after i input after I import all the dev, dev parameter names so here we go just right click and run the application so this is how the my system is looks like for the first uh, I just click add a user enter my name so just click next and click capture data set so this is uh, in tick into message box that have been stated before to instruct and to alert or anything else 
but this time is to instruction which is we will capture 300 speeds of your face please look the camera and wait so just press ok so this is uh, my camera will be going to capture 300 uh, image and save to into database So, I have visited before, after the camera is detect 310 image capture, they will be, uh, they will be closed automatically the frame. So now, the image number of image capture is 311. So just press the train, the model button. Just wait for a few minutes. So, this is a message box that has been stated as before the model has been successful trained so just press ok and we go to home page back so after we uh, cap capture the image and train the model now it's want to identify a user who is the user so just click to the second button identify user so i need to choose my name so there is none and button none is for the user who is not enter your name uh, for meaning uh, none is nothing uh, no someone have their none is not have include the database of face so just click add rule and next so face recognition and go to home page just click face recognition so here is how uh, I say before the bounding box uh, green bounding box uh, with the identify in at the above uh, of the bounding box uh, plus the name of my name is Badrul and in the above of the in the below of the bounding box is uh, occupation uh, stated with the student so it's a confident level and I have been stated before if the confident level is uh, below 100 so the similarity is the same so uh, this is a frame life face recognition so just uh, ensure that it's my face also alright so I want just to press Q so this is a validation check meaning I can come to my home so that's all so just go need to go to home page and just quite so this is a message box are you sure ok so for the next run output is to detect two faces in the same webcam so let me show you in this case I am asked a help from my family members to have a demonstration so let me start by enter a name so my family members name is Zaliha which is my mom so the, uh, she needs to click the next button so after they click the next button he need to capture the image so the message box will be open so the, the face detect uh, the, my mom image my mom face so they have uh, so the camera will capture for the 310 image until until it done so just wait for a few seconds So oh, done. Okay, for the next, uh, we need to click the train model. So we need to wait. So the success message box has been open, has been shown. So the next is to check uh, uh, my mom name, Saliha. So next, click to face recognition. So it shows the identify, and my younger brother has check is unidentified and a valid user to welcome home so this is how my the second outputs for the two faces have been demo in order to detect two face which is one identified and for the for the second is unidentified so that's all for the output that's all for me about that's all for me 
about face recognizer project Python through GUI for subject artificial intelligence while using OpenCV, Python 3 and Tkinter. So actually I'm going very very happy because my project has been success. So I want to say thank you to all my members and my family also who is was supporting me in doing this project. So I hope all of you guys enjoy this video, especially to my lecturer, Dr. Nazmusang Adet. So thank you. Assalamualaikum.